EA Sports gave us another pre-order bonus that's limited time. So yes, if you already pre-ordered Madden 24, uh, you're going to get this pre-order bonus along with your AKA player. I think what you had to the 22nd to get the AKA player. And now if you already have pre-ordered, you're also getting the Hall of Fame player item and a superstar celebration. Which according to this, it's you cannot get this on um, old Xbox One or PS4. You have to have a next-gen console. So kind of interesting how Superstar Celebration's not on current gen. It's only on next gen. I'm not sure if there's like a reason for that. EA's trying to push people to go next gen or what's going on there because that's kind of interesting. I I'm pretty sure the celebration will work on current gen too. I don't think it needs next gen hardware. I don't know. Maybe maybe they do. Maybe this this is that crazy of a you know, next-gen product, right? Well, here's what I want to say about this, right? This Hall of Fame player is going to suck. <laughs> Listen, so we know day one, the best card in the game is going to be an 87 overall, Aiden Hutchinson, right? That's going to be the best card day one. The core elites are going to go from 80 to 86s. We know that the headliners day one are going to be 86 overalls. And we do know that, you know, the first Legends to come out are probably going to be 89s. Because this year, if you guys did not see my video or, uh, yesterday, they're pushing, they're making this year the slowest year of progressing throughout the year. So we're not getting 99s this year until probably June or July time period, right? So we're going to be literally getting 99s when Madden 25 is like almost out. <laughs> And the reason why they're doing this is they're trying to prolong the season. They're also trying to make it so it's harder to get to 99 speed. To get to these crazy cards where, you know, you get to a point where some of these cards are just end game cards and everyone uses the same cards. So, they're trying to avoid that by, you know, prolonging the season. It's going to work out, hopefully. And we'll see how they handle everything. They've not handled things well in the past. But with that being said, what are the players that are going to be in this fantasy pack? Because it does say a fantasy pack. It, it, um, we are Hall of Fame players. So it's not just one player. It's a fantasy pack of different players. Well, my guess is it's going to be, because knowing he hates sports, Deion Sanders, probably Barry Sanders, Randy Moss, and my last guess would be LT. That would be the guys I'm going to expect to be in this Hall of Fame pack. Again, it's a fantasy pack. You can probably choose one player out of those four options. That's usually how EA Sports, you know, does things. Mainly because it's exciting. People love those players. People love playing with those guys. So, that's probably where they're going to head when it comes to, you know, what players you can choose from. LT might be an out-of-the-park type of guess or prediction. I just feel like LT would be that a player that they probably would put in there. Barry Sanders is definitely going to be in there. Same thing with Randy Moss and Dion. Those are the most excited cards. Maybe Sean Taylor instead of LT. I'm not sure. They're definitely going to do a wide receiver, a running back, a cornerback, and then the last guy might be a quarterback, but it also might be a linebacker. I think it's going to be a linebacker. I'm going to say LT is the last one. And again, because overalls are starting so low next year, these pre-order bonuses are actually worth it. It's kind of crazy to say this because in previous years, you know, because there was 89s and 90s uh, base elites and everyone started getting them and you spend money day one, you got so many good of these cards. It was like pre-order bonuses were stupid. It was like, oh yeah, I got an 85 pre-order bonus. Nah, who cares? But now because this is going to be a slow progression system and it's not going to be like, you know, you're upgrading your cards every single week and then by the time you get this card, then another card came out and now it's not worth it. This might, this might be interesting because the pre-order bonus is actually now worth it, which is crazy because we're getting, what, an 85 Sauce or an 85 J Jettis. And both those cards, if, again, the progression system works the way it does, they're going to be usable until probably October, which is crazy to say. And the Rookie Premier is going to be probably useful until almost October. This is going to be a weird year. 
I uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, because we are going every single day daily content on this channel. Once Madden 24 comes out, we're doing three videos a day on this channel. If you guys do not know, I do also have three other YouTube channels. I have two sport YouTube channels, and I have a tech. Ryan Tim Tech is my tech YouTube channel. Um, that AFC North Zone is my AFC North channel. And then obviously, um, Fancy Truck Stop is my Cincinnati Bengals YouTube channel. So, I know I get a lot of comments sometimes. People are like, hey, do you have other, uh, other channels? Yes, I do. I, this one is just one channel I want to, you know, build up for Mutt. But we have two football channels, a tech channel that I upload around one to three videos every single day to all four channels. So if you see me out there in the YouTube streets, you, you probably you might hear a voice and say, guy sounds familiar. That's me. That's me. I, I'm everywhere. I'll see you guys in the next one.